Talking with Mule's head basketball coach Kim Anderson following Central Missouri's 82-79 win over Truman State, claimed a share of the MIAA title. Uh, coach, just talk a little bit about the game. You guys trailed early on, trailed at halftime. Uh, you guys battled back in the second half and then uh, eventually got the win and uh, claimed a share of the conference title. Yeah, it was, it was really, uh, Truman played a great game. I think you have to uh, compliment them, especially the game that uh, Mike Carlson played. He had 34 points, and we really didn't have an answer for him. But uh, I was proud of our guys that uh, we were resilient. We, we hung in there. We, we made shots when we needed to. I thought we did a great job of attacking the basket. Uh, we were able to get to the free throw line. And uh, although we didn't probably shoot as high a percentage as we normally do, uh, you know, we made enough to win. And, uh, you know, I think our guys do a good job of, of, uh, of attacking and, and, and playing aggressively around the basket. So consequently, you know, we're going to shoot some free throws. And uh, but I was real proud of, of the, the way we hung in there because Truman played great. They played a fantastic game. Um, and, and for us to be able to, to uh, you know, hang in there and, and make baskets when we needed to was uh, obviously key to winning. I think we've kind of talked about it all season. You guys are at your best when it's not one person doing the scoring, but a more balanced attack. Five players in double figures. Dominique Long, 18 points. Alex Dean had a pretty good game, 12 points, eight rebounds. Uh, Widget with 11 points, Boo with 10. Four of your five starters finished in double figures. Just talk about kind of their performance uh, on Saturday night. Well, that, that's our that's when we're at our best, as you said. I, I think when when uh, when we distribute the scoring evenly, um, you know, when one guy doesn't feel like he's got to score all the points, uh, I think that's when we're we're playing our best basketball. Uh, having said that, I don't really think we're playing our best basketball right now. I think we've been fortunate in a couple the last couple of games where uh, we've been able to make plays down the stretch to win games, but. Uh, again, you know, I think we got 20 points and 17 rebounds out of our post position with uh, Will Kirksey and Alex Dean and Matt Webb, and you know that's that's important. I thought our rebounding was good with those guys. Um, you know, obviously Lance Beckwith made some really good plays there um, toward the end of the game or in the second half. Um, you know, I thought Widget was very very solid again. Um, you know, he he distributed the ball well. Dominic Long made some big shots. You know, he's uh, he's done that continuous, continuously, especially in the last few games. Uh, and then Boo Hunter, I think, you know, he knocks down some big threes when we needed him. Uh, I think he struggled from the field a little bit, but uh, you know, late in the game we were able to get him to the line, and he makes, you know, he knocks down free throws. And uh, you know, really, it was just kind of an overall team deal. And that, and that's when we're at our best when we do that. Um, you know, that's when we play our best, and I think that gives us the best opportunity to win. It's the fourth MIAA championship for you as a head coach, 22nd overall for the school. You now have more MIAA titles than any other coach in Central Missouri history. How does this one rank? Um, you know, you win a conference, tie for a conference title with five losses, had some, some really big ups this year with a nine-game winning streak, then had a three-game losing streak. Just... How does this one compare to the others, just the way this team battled all season long to get where they're at? Well, they're all special, and they're all hard to do. And I, I think that sometimes people, um, you know, and I would congratulate Washburn and Northwest, too, because winning a championship's hard, and especially over a three-month grind like the MIAA is. You know, we started this in December. Um, with with the new guys we had, we had, we had uh, ten new guys on our roster, I think it's a credit to them. It's it's a credit to the coaching staff. Uh, you know me. I'm just the I'm just the conductor of the orchestra. You know these other guys. Our staff's done a great job, and our coaches have done or our players have done a great job. And, uh, you know, winning a conference championship is different than winning a, a conference tournament or even a regional tournament, or uh, because it it's it's a long process, and you have injuries, uh, you have illnesses. Uh, you have, you have different things that happen to you during that three-month period, and all teams do. And so uh, to be able to sustain and win uh, is what makes it, uh, gives you a really good uh, uh, feeling. Changing gears here, it doesn't get any easier now. Now it goes into MIAA tournament play. Pitt State uh, is going to be your first-round opponent. 
swept the season series, but they were both close games, real physical battles. What are you expecting out of Pitt State on Friday night? It's a very physical game. I, I, I think um, I think that they're uh, they're a team that has played uh, well. Uh, probably haven't gotten some breaks. I don't think they're a ten and ten team in our league. I certainly think they're a, a team that that. Uh, Probably deserves a better fate than what they've gotten, uh, but they play very hard, uh, very physical team. Uh, we were fortunate to win both games, uh, especially I thought when we went down there in December. Uh, I thought we really stole that one. The one here we hung on, but the one down there we, we kind of stole because uh, they kind of had it in control, and then we we made a little run and we were able to hold them off at the end. So we ex we expect a, a, a very tough game. Very well coached team, uh, good veteran team, got some senior leadership. You know, Eric Gray uh, chucked in about 14 points in a row on us here at the end of our game. So, uh, you know, it's, it'll be a tough game. One, we got to be ready to play. All right. Best of luck on uh, Friday, Coach. All right. Thanks.